it seemed to me that there was a um, a certain knowledge about you know the the banking system and the bankers and and all the other aspects of the control system that just simply got lost somewhere. There were honest. There were too many honest people then. Mm. And an honest person with a good heart can break the can melt the ha- the the heart of a banker. There were many sacred feminine women that melted the heart of a banker person that knew exactly what was going on and that person tried to get out of the system by taking all their gold and silver and moving to South America and forming a massive compound or bunker system. Mm -hmm. And there was a tremendous um, underground organization within the system of domination and control that knew it was coming and they did their best. And that's what ultimately made the flip in the resistance of free earth that the St. Germain funds could actually exist even though they knew at some point somebody in the system of domination control would make a fake one and then 30 fake ones and then 1,000 fake ones. So you can never truly find what the, the, what the real one is. You're talking about the St. Germain Trust. Not just that. Any of the other ones. There were other light worker angelic beings that created their versions of it too. Mm. When was the Saint Germain Trust first created? Well, the real one, the actual one. When was that created? 2000 BC. It's part of a mystery school that ultimately understood that materialism and consumerism would be the greatest tool of human self-destruction from themselves. And all the system had to do was produce materials for them to buy and promote it on mass propaganda, radio, or TV. It was the easiest way to self for people to corrupt themselves. Mm. Well, you know, if we're here to actually learn that lesson, we've done a great job. That's right. Okay, so the the actual Saint Germain Trust still exists, I gather. Correct. Okay, yep. and the you know, the keys to the the keys to the vaults of the trust. Well, I guess what I'm asking is this: if they've been going since 2000 BC, that's 4,000 years. Yep. Do they simply hold physical assets? They hold energy that was being taken from the system of domination and control through various acts of, of timeline piracy versus those flounding systems. Okay, so... They were stealing the people's energy back so it can be reinvested in them. Okay, and what form was the energy actually being being hmm, stored in? Was it being Gold. St- Gold, silver, anything that was being used to transfer back to England or back to the Vatican or Byzantium at that time, uh, which is Constantinople, because it was another temporary spot where everything went to for the Roman Empire. You know, it wasn't always England, even though Tara Hill was a major energy point that they, they needed to use the ley line and alchemical processes to make sure that if that ship, which was carrying the physical energy, the physical representation of energy, stayed along that ley line trajectory over the ocean, that none of the energy would be bled out of the cargo. That's a very interesting, interesting concept, actually. Sailing, mm-hmm. sailing, sailing ley lines deliberately to you know manipulate things. Correct. Okay, so um, are you aware of who actually runs and controls the St. Germain Trust? I am, and I don't think it's something that should be made public to keep those people safe. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, well, it's interesting to know that that's actually still in existence. Now, mm-hmm. just as a general question, um, you know, what's the plan for that for that massive energy store that they've actually gathered over 4,000 years. Is there an objective? They, they are. Uh, there are many views of how the trust is being used, and there are many light workers that have been brought in by angelic beings that have given, given their way of doing it. And I'm going to describe from the sacred ritual perspective what's in the Akashic record. There are many dozens of minor mystery schools that have been here in leapfrogging through time, Mm-hmm. and that have been identifying genetic lineages that could produce offspring that could be a part of these mystery schools that could rapidly remember their past lives instead of having to go hundreds of, of lifetimes before they could get a massive past life upgrade mm-hmm. so that they literally could use the lineage families that were being used for off-world DNA sales and then separate those lineages by traveling them to other parts of the world 
and then these off world these sorry these uh, me, uh metaphysical mystery schools that were leapfrogging through time you know a time traveler can suddenly manifest in 200 AD in a, a city outside of Peru and there was a person there that represented those different trusts or Saint Germain trust that could give them an item that could have so much energy that those individual students would be rapidly progressed to advanced consciousness explorers in a few months or years. So the the uh, asset they were gathering up was being used to literally maintain the vibrational level of the the average Correct. vibrational level of the entire collective. Correct. Okay, so they were managing the energies to make sure it didn't just crash into a hole. Correct. And they were also they were also understanding that the different migrations that were coming in, that they would have to be prepared to go out and search the local lands globally to find these new people. Because, you know, we talk about crystal and indigo children, but there's been different waves of different colors of different themes every year. And at times there's 300 waves a year that come in. And that's why the Archonic Grid is so vitally important at eliminating types of souls from coming in. Mm. Sounds like this planet has been been pounded with with um, attempts to actually stop the domination and control system from completely crushing the absolutely the, the free will of the planet. On, but that that have to that has to have been happening you know, right through the timeline. Mm-hmm. So it's been propped up from the outside ever since the um, those fifteen beings arrived. Correct. Hmm. So the the efforts of organisations like the Saint Germain Trust and all those mystery schools around it, they've been really leading up to this point in a big way because at this point they appear that I wouldn't say they've got the upper hand, but the tide has turned. Let's just say they've got a ringer at bat. <laughs> they've got a what? A ringer, with somebody that's a okay. professional that's going into, you know, a, a, a friend, a friend's game. You know, it's like bringing a professional baseball player into a backyard into a, into baseball a, game. Exactly. Okay. A ringer at bat. Yep. Okay. Can you elaborate on that, or is that as far as you okay. want to take that? Um, I can. They're 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 looking for specific soul migration patterns and specific souls that are high producers of the resistance of free of consciousness energy, such as you or Lance. Mm-hmm. And let's say it was it was uh, 1902, and both of you were born in rural Mexico City, and there's a a organization there that is out there actively looking for special children at a young age that could go through the education process instead of actually going into the collegiate system, they would be brought into the metaphysical schools that are leapfrogging through time. Okay. Mm. Okay, because the, the education system through the first half of the of the twentieth century was well and truly railroaded mm. and done. Mm. 